Toko hangs up a notice from the almighty Shogun herself. The Vision Hunt Decree has commenced. <laughs> Good people, it is another fine day in the year of the Ascent Tomb. Dave, Anomaly the Anomalicaris, few know me as the 31st color in the box of 64 Crayola crayons. I don't even know what color that is. Most people actually know me as the United States Aviator. Welcome back to another Friday or Teal edition of the... Of, of, of the... Oh, oh, it is playing. My, my headset was muted. I was like, oh gosh, everything is broken. But nothing is broken. In fact, we have a fantastic episode. It's going to be a fun one. <laughs> this weekend, I believe it's International Girls Day or something of that nature, so we're celebrating with the ladies. It's about that time, too, usually around this time. At least last year, I think we had an all-ladies episode and all-males episode, and I think we'll probably keep that trend. So who's going to walk out of this one? We got all, the Don all of your favorite Don Hong Rampa females. Next week, I think we might do the males. That might fit. That might fit. But for right now, we're celebrating ya ladies with Hina, Celeste, Junko, Mukuro, Kyoko, Riku Saika, Toko, Sakura, Akane, Crazy Hyoko, Ibuki, Mahiru, Mikan, Peko, Sonya, Chiaki, Himiko, Kaie Day, Kurumi, Tinka, Angie, Samugi, Mew, Maki, Komaru, Genocide Jack, Katoka, Hiroka, Monica, Monophony, Usami, Chisa, Ruruka, Seiko, and Miss Maya. And let me tell you, <laughs> there's some fun stuff that has happened when I uh, tested the new things in the simulator. <laughs> we might be in for a crazy one. But it's been a fun week of simulations so far. Can we end it off with another one? Not even, and we have OC action on Sunday too? Make your picture for a second and third. Who do you got? First of all, who's best girl to you? Who's best girl? Tell me, who is your Danganronpa best girl? I, 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 maybe I do need to tell you mine. Do you, uh, do you know mine? I don't, I don't know. Who knows, but also pick for a second and third because your comments are important. Leave them in the comments because those comments are important. Like this one. And that one. And heck, even that one right there. I swear. I'ma tell you mine. Uh, well, I'm gonna pick my picks first, and then continue thinking about Best Girl. Uh, it still might be Komaru. I, I do like Komaru a whole lot. Uh, but I think that's also just because I like Ultra Spare Girls a whole lot. I, I think I like Komaru and Toko as a unit. I think they're, I think they are just best girls together. And Jack, they're, they're my favorite trio. They're, they are, they are, they encompass Best Girl. If I had to pick one, it's those three together. <laughs> In fact, there will be my picks. Give me Toko for first, Komaru for second, and give me Jack for third. Because Toko has not held the singles title. Jack has and Komaru has. They've both also held tag team action together. And maybe they'll join the World Pancake Championship match and try and claim all the gold that they can. Let's see what happens. I made my picks, you made yours, and this intro was not long at all. <laughs> um, Is there anything else? Told you OC action return Sunday. We don't need to roll a die. Yeah, I think we're I think we're ready to go. That's shockingly quick. I I mean I'm not gonna dilly and dally. I guess we'll just we'll switch the music and proceed. Nothing else. No, I think we're I think we're just good, ladies. It's time. Who will be Don Gon Rampa's best girl? I have not the slightest, but I think it is time that we find out. Also, there is one more thing that I forgot to do. Give me Sakura, where is she? That's our champ right there. Give her the champion perk. That's right. She's the champ. Never forget. That is the one thing that I was forgetting. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go on. Let's proceed, and we will see. Round one begins, and gosh darn it, chum. Mm. Poor mama. She could come back, though. It's round one. It's ladies' night. And of course, it is going to be the fight of a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, secret achievements are in play and so are the horns they are playing right now. In fact, go ahead and sound. The horns! Most excellent. 
Crazy Elf has been adorable as always. Akane hums a song to herself. Maihu finds a handgun with just enough bullets to be useful. Monica finds some other scraps just enough to be cave Monica. Hiroko tries to kill Sonya, but Sonya retaliates and kills her instead. Peckle starts sobbing uncontrollably. Samugi is looking for an easy out. Maya can't help it admire her own genius mind. Abuki fails to grasp the gravity situation. Kaede wishes she could go home. Sonya trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking her neck. Junko doesn't really care much for this place. Andy does something really cute. Monica hums a song to herself. Maki's had enough. Maki's mad. You don't- you wouldn't like Maki when she's mad. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Kamara does something really cute. Mew wonders if she should build a, mis a machine that makes Yaki Niku. You, you should and you can. Tenko. What? <laughs> well, Tenko, something's gotten into her. Does she have like the despair disease or something? Tenko ambushes Himiko and gets rid of her. She must have some sort of other plan going on, Tinko. She's got some other plan. She's got some other plan. Mikan sets down a trap. Kurumi's looking for someone dumb enough to believe her. She's having a week of Ruka challenges. Kurumi and Kaede to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Kaede murders the both of them before eating a single pancake, winning, earning the title, and entry into the World Pancake Championship Invitational. Kaede wants all the gold. She wants all the gold. And she's she's look. I said it once, long ago, and I'll say it again. Every day could be a Kai A day. Seiko gets caught in one of Mikan's traps, and all she can do is hope to be freed. Hina wants to end things once and for all with Mukuro. Mukuro, I'm, I'm sorry, Mukuro doesn't bite the dust. Hina actually bites the dust. Jack calms down for good, no longer subject to the whims of a changing brain. Sakura uses the title belt to hit Peko from behind. She's now dazed. Celeste draws a demon summoning circle, you know, for fun. <laughs> Freaking Saika. Kind of wanders off and gets lost and never be seen again. Toka looks like she's on the verge of snapping. Chiaki doesn't, or at least she hopes she doesn't have to harm anybody. Kyoko looks around for stuff to scrounge. Chisa is only looking out for herself. Katoko tries to kill Celeste, but Celeste retaliates, takes her out instead. Rest in peace to the preseason princess, but she's gotten herself that seasonal win. Usami thinks about what she did to end up here. We lost eight. Eight already? I've seen a lot more in a single day. In this simulator, too. For right now, let's just calm it down and give a Claire de Lune. Four. Hiroko. Sonya. Himiko. Ruruka. Kurumi. Hina. Sayaka. Katoka. And? I think we just gotta keep going. We gotta keep proceeding because we have 27 left. That's... What, three more than a standard-sized game? And this is Ortiel. Unless something crazy happens. Which it might. <laughs> we gotta see what unfolds. Let's click next round and see what unfolds. Secret achievements, none of them hit yet. None of them hit yet. In fact, it's, uh, it's looking like none of them might hit today. But you know what? That could all change at the turn of a hat. It might change in the turn of a hat. <laughs> because round two begins with Mukuro finding a seemingly official decree. From a powerful Archon, will she dare hang it up? I'm telling you guys, if that thing ever comes into play during an actual game, it breathes chaos into a game. This might be the most chaotic event that exists in the simulator right now. Do, do not hang it up, Mukuro. <laughs> do not. You should. You all should be afraid, terrified. Maki's so mad that steam's literally coming out of her ears, causing a fire, trapping and killing Abuki and Junko. I told you you weren't gonna like Maki when she's mad. Mahiru aims her handgun in the distance. Genocide Jack has had enough. She's now enraged. Chiaki doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Mew walks into a very strange machine and now she has ghost powers. Crazy Oak was looking particularly erratic today. Maya's thinking of plans to get out of here. Tenko was lost in her thoughts and now she has a wish ring. Hopefully she'll be responsible with it. Chisa. Feel sorry for Seiko. Frees her from the trap because they were from... Introduced at the same time. Proud. Good on you, Seiko. At least you're free. Now she's picking up whatever looks neat and cool lying in various places. Peko comes back to her senses. Samugi looks for someone dumb enough to believe her Celeste moves around uselessly. Sakura sizes her muscles. Usami wasn't looking and fell right off of a cliff. Huh? Well, you know, I, I can see that. That, that, seems, that sounds about right. Monophony does something really cute. Monica seems unshaken by any of this. Mikan won't give up so easily. Toko looks like she's on the verge of snapping. Komaru finds an axe, upping her chances of survival somewhat. 
Kaede wishes she could go home. Akane looks around for stuff to scratch in the second instant. Whoever finds that decree just- it's bad luck when the camera's rolling, apparently. Angie challenges Mukuro and Seigo to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Let me tell you. Seiko does not eat the most- well, I mean, she does eat the most pancakes, just a single one. But she had to make sure that the other two didn't eat one, and to do that, she had to make sure that they perish. But Seiko also wants to- she's having herself a little bit of a season, too, a little bit of a season. Could she get herself a fan vote for you guys? Could she win the World Pancake Championship in the future? And she's already in the singles bracket. She could walk out with so much gold. Dripping in gold. Kyoko just wonders about the future. We lost another five. 22 remain, and we'll check him out after this Claire de Lune. Four. Ibuki. Junko. Usami. Angie. Mukura. And let's go ahead and take a peek. Because this is Ordeal, and you know good and well that if you perish in Ordeal, you might not perish forever. Mikan and Genocide Jack still remain. Kaye Day, as well as... It's almost her time of the year, Holly Jolly Celeste. Monophony, Antenko, Sakura is still around as well, the champion. Komaru still remains. We still have Chisa, Maki, Samugi, and Kyoko. Miss Maya, Quiet Maya, has not been too quiet this season. We still have Crazy Hyoko and Mahiru. Chiaki remains as well. Toko, my pick, Toko. Is she still here? Seiko remains. So does Mew, Monica, and Peko. That's our cast of 22 that's left. But only one of them will be best girl today. Or maybe it's someone that's already perished. I don't know. We'll have to proceed and find out and see what does unfold. Let's go ahead. Let's keep rolling. Because, I don't know, something crazy might happen. Something crazy might happen. Or not. Who knows? <laughs> Twice, Seiko? <laughs> Twice? I told you guys. She's having herself a show. Round 3 begins with Mikan ambushing Chisa, taking her out. Komaru finds a lovely bikini, puts it on. It's actually quite revealing to Celeste, looking for an easy way out. Seiko challenges Komaru and Mew to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Seiko eats the most pancakes and wins, earning entry into the World Pancake Championship Invitational. If I could write your name down again, I mean, I could, but that would just be repetitive. Seiko. Pancakes. They mean so much to me, and you were you were showing, you know what? If anyone can beat Fischl, I think it could be you. Monofin did something really cute. Peko sizes her muscles. Chiaki's had enough. She's a mad gamer. She's got that gamer rage now. Crazy Yoko finds a bunch of tactical combat gear, which is <laughs> the small frame dancer is now a combat expert. Kaede wishes she could go home. Kyoko picks up her looks neat and cool lying in various places. Maihu aims her handgun in the distance. Mew shoots blast of energy from her hands at Crazy Hyoko. Crazy Hyoko is unable to survive the blow. You know what? You hate to- oh gosh. Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> Seems unshaken by any of this. Crazy Hyoko was an, an explosive- not an explosive, a combat expert, but let me tell you, there's a lot of- all of the blue stuff that's happening right now is more worrisome than the red. Jack's frenzy. Maya tries to build a tank out of sticks and rocks and succeeds. Awesome. The tank is one of the most dangerous weapons in the game. It has a devastating explosive round if it can get used and if you can hold on to it because it is very easy to be stolen as you see below. Kyoko tells Maki to have a nice day. Maki screams, don't tell me what to do before killing Kyoko in a rage. Told you guys. You're not gonna like Maki when she's mad. Tinko wishes for a spot in the singles finale. Oddly enough, the wish ring makes it happen if it hasn't already. Tinko! <laughs> that would be cool if Wednesday didn't happen. Sumugi steals Amaya's pancakes. I'm sorry, Amaya's tank while she is asleep. And then Akane doesn't really want to and finds herself having to get rid of Samugi. I think the tank is now out of play. That is a major relief because that explosive round does a whole lot of damage if it hits. I've seen it hit once in testing and boy, it took us down to the final two. Um, Toko finds a seemingly official decree from a powerful Archon. Will she dare to hang it up? Sakura stares into the distance. We lost another four. 18 remain. We're almost, we are almost halfway through. We're pretty much halfway through because we can't be halfway through. Technically. Unless we lose half of a person. 
I guess maybe if one person was a ghost, we could look. <laughs> Declare a loon for Chisa, Crazy Hyoko, Kyoko, Tsumugi. We still got eighteen. That's still a ton of people. We still got eight more until your saving grace picks. This, if it gets in play, it changes everything. I promise you. This tank, there's. I'm glad to see that a lot of the new stuff is uh is starting to filter through again. <sighs> it puts me on edge because there's some crazy things with the new stuff, but we will go on to see if we see any of those crazy things. I'm on edge, <laughs> and I know me saying these things probably puts you on edge too. You're like, oh god, what what is going to happen? What have you done? <laughs> You're gonna find out. Maybe it's RNG. Let's see if it does. As we click next round and we proceed. Round 4 begins with Seiko waving at Maki, but Maki chases her while shaking her fist. Monophony does something really cute. Never count Monophony out. Never forget about Monophony, but you might want to forget about Mikan. Monica is wearing leather scraps. Uh, it's a sight to behold. Tinko wishes Mikan would disappear. Her wish ring shimmers for a second, and then nobody seems to remember Mikan ever existed at all. Oh my. Akane challenges Seiko to a duel. Akane bites the dust. Seiko's having herself a showcase. What in the world? Mew found a chainsaw! Why is it- Oh god, oh no! <laughs> Why was it laying around here is beyond anyone's guess, but think of how many people can lose limbs now! Smoogie's gone, Chiaki hopes she have to harm anybody, Maya tries to build a tank out of sticks and rocks, it's useless but it looks cool. Toko hangs up a notice from the almighty Shogun herself. The Vision Hunt Decree has commenced. See who takes which side. And this is a very controversial decree, huh? Pekko! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh my. Pekko and Genocide Jack decide not to take sides. They don't think this will last more than a day, anywho. Mayu has no vision, but has devoted her life to the Shogun's desires. Mayu picks up a samurai sword in the name of the Electro Archon. Sakura also has no vision, but something, the violence stirs up something inside of her. She gets a pyro vision from the Archons. The violence stirs something inside of Kaede as well. She gets a cryo vision. Celeste. And Seiko decides, e no, we're not taking sides either. This isn't gonna last more than a day. In a fit of frenzy, Jack creeps up on Mahiru, kills her dead. And then Komaru has no vision. The violence stirs up something inside of her, and she gets the power of Anima. And we still have other people who still need to do something for this arena event before they can go back to normal things. But as you can see, it hands out a lot of visions, but it also hands out samurai swords, and the samurai sword is the grandest enemy to vision wielders in the simulator. We'll see what happens. We'll see who wins the fight after this Claire de Lune 4. Mikan. Akane. Mahiru. Yeah, as you can see, this is this is one of those things where I was like, this changes the landscape of everything. What's gonna happen? I don't know. But I can tell you that either people will end up with just not taking any sides, getting visions. It's uh, you, you, you know what? It's um, some crazy things might happen. Some crazy things are clearly going to happen. And heck, if the Vision Hunt Decree hits again, there's other events that that put the two sides against each other, and uh. We'll see what happens. That's all I can really say. Things are gonna get crazy from here on out. There, there's five more until you're, you're saving grace picks. Wouldn't I be surprised if we somehow skipped Samurai Woman? Let's go on. Let's proceed. More than likely, on the next day, we'll, we'll be at your final ten. Oh boy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Tinko has no vision of the start of round 5. Something deep inside of her, the violence is, is stirring something inside of her. She's got a hydro vision, and Maya also picks up a samurai sword. Goodness gracious. Dennis Hijack's just looking around maniacally seething. Mew and Chiaki decide not to take sides. They don't think this is gonna last more than a day, anywho. Komaru uses a gust of wind to blast Tinko right off of a cliff. Chiaki's unbridled rage is her own undoing as the anger kills her. Sakura sets the forest ablaze, catching Celeste and Genocide Jack in the flames. Pekko feels strong enough to handle anything, 
Monica has no vision. She now has the power of Geo. Monophony also has a samurai sword. Oh no. <laughs> I will say, the samurai sword is more powerful than the visions. But only really against the visions. Kaede and Sakura both unleash the power of their visions. Mew is unfortunately caught in between the cryo and pyro attacks and is melted away. Toko has no vision, but the violence stirs something deep inside of her. She now has the power of Animo, and Maki has no vision, but the violence stirs something in her, and she now has Cryo. She's been so mad, but now she's maybe cooling off. Maybe. Probably not, though. We did lose more than five, just one more than five, but we are down to your final nine. There are a ton of visions and swords in play, but most importantly, there is a Clear Day Loom 4. Tenko. Chiaki, Celeste, Genocide, Jack, Seiko, Mew. Well, things are going nuts right now. It's the final nine. I think we gotta, we gotta go and look at the details because you might need some, do I need, do I need new picks? Jack's gone, but I think, is Toko still in? Toko's still in, right? Yeah, two of my three picks are still in. That's crazy out here. That's crazy. That's crazy out here. In that case, let's take a step back, because you might need some new picks, some uh, some fantastic picks, some um, some picks that save you from a fallen grace. It's more like a saving um, saving grace pick. We still have Komaru. She's kind and cute. And she's got the power of wind on her side. As we scroll down, we see Monophony does not get many opportunities, but when Opportunity knocks, she walks through that door. She's got a samurai sword, and there's a whole bunch of vision bearers. Can she capitalize? Kaye Day is trying to make sure she has a week. <laughs> she's got Cryo on her side, she's got three KOs to her name. Will she win this one? Miss Maya also has a samurai sword. Still around, still alive. What will she do? I don't know. She's also an inventor. Very dangerous right now, especially in the top 10. We'll proceed and we see Monica still around. Leather scraps, a Geo vision. I'm, I do love Geo, and more importantly, it smells like the next Genshin update is gonna be mm, littered in Geo. Boy, am I gonna love it. This is a sign of things to come, will Monica win? We keep going, we see. Miss Maki, she's enraged still, but can she cool down with the power of Cryo on her side now? Pekka, still around as well. She is already on the singles retribution match. Can she get herself off today by getting herself a big win? Toko, my pick from the start, still in. The wind beneath her wings could carry her to victory. Perhaps, perhaps, but don't forget. Last but not least, the champion is still here. Last week, she was like, okay, I didn't have a, a great match as the champion. She was out first, I believe, but today, it's a new day. Yes, it is. And Miss Sakura could come out on top, ladies and gentlemen. It is your final nine. Make your new picks. You might need saving grace picks at this point. Go into the comments. Edit your comment. Like your comment. Comment on your comment, on my comment, on someone else's comment, whatever you have to do to make your saving grace picks now. Make them. While I make mine, I gotta stick with Toko for first. I got it. She was my pick from the start. Could I have two days of correct picking? It's a stretch, but I believe it's happened before. So I'm gonna stick with Toko. For the hope that it does. And then I'll take Pe mm, Komaru and then Peko. Those are my picks. But it's your final nine. And you've made yours already. But most importantly, these nine... All caught with the same heart rate, the same heart beat, the same de determination, the same potential destiny is that of a samurai woman. Nine left. One will come out on top. Maybe. Let's see what happens as we click next round. Goodness gracious. Round 6 begins with Monica summoning stones around Kaede's feet. Kaede is now trapped. Using scrap materials, Maya builds an awesome laser gun. Awesome! Mahiru's gone. Sa Sakura sees Kaede caught in a trap instead of freeing her. 
Sakura sets the trap, the stones around her feet, and Kaede herself on fire. Peko, is that enough? Peko's now mad. So is Maki. Those are the two people you don't want mad at you. That's terrifying. <laughs> Kamaru creates a spear of a sphere of air rather around Peko and Monofini, keeping oh wow, keeping it there long enough to cause them to suffocate within. That's one of the samurais out of here. Maya tries to creep up on I'm sorry. Maya tries to creep up on Maya, but Maya creates a gust of air beneath herself and escapes. I think Toko tried to creep up on her, but you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. We lost three. Three souls are now. And that brings us to six. It's still samurai woman time, but it's also a terrible turnabout. Four. Kaye Day, Peko, Monophony. And as I take a swig of that sweet H2O. Ah. I'll tell you it's your final six. They are Toko, Maya, Komaru, Maki, Sakura, and Monica. It's an interesting six, and I don't think any of them are in the Retribution match. No, I don't think so. We get a fresh face. That could be awesome. Also, Maya, I believe, is already on the bracket, so who who knows how this is going to play out. Sakura's clearly already there, too. We have a couple of different... You guys could get a couple of ways to get a fan vote here. And not to mention, secret achievements are still in place. One. One has an okay chance of being hit, but we'll see if it happens. Because, between these six, they're still technically... Kata is the still, the still, the same heartbeat as a samurai woman. It does seem like things are a little bit safer. I think we might be, I think we might be safe now. But you know what, this is the simulator, we're never really safe anymore. This, no, I was gonna say Kaede still has that chainsaw nut. Kaede's, Kaede's gone. We will proceed, it is six left, and... Who? What? My gosh! It does seem like things are a little bit safer. I think we might be... I think we might be safe now. I just need a- I just need a second on this one, I just, um... <laughs> I was gonna pick Monica for first solely because she got a Geovision too, uh -huh. It is round seven and things come to a screeching halt. Toko finds some leather scraps but they won't do her any good. Maya cuts off Komaru's arm but Komaru still has her other one. Komaru then slices through Miss Maya. Maki summons a massive spear of ice impaling. Toko, rest in peace to her. Sakura tries to kill Komaru, but Komaru retaliates, takes her out instead. Those two knights, the cute knight and the buff knight, duel it out, and even with one arm, it seems that cute was able to prevail, but in a game of rock, ice, and whatever vision Komaru has, Monica uses the power of Geo and summons a massive rock in the sky, a big ol' rock, dropping it to the ground, killing Maki and Komar. It's been a hot second since she's had a day like this. And more importantly, it's been a hot second since a member of- <laughs> you know what, actually? This is interesting. I'll tell you why, first and foremost, after this terrible turnabout for Maya. Toko. Sakura, Maki, Komaru. She's the only one, the only member of Pimped Out Rides, not Pimped Out Rides, I'm sorry, that's way in the past. The only member of the Robotics Club who hasn't picked up a win as of late. Kibo got himself that World Pancake Championship, even Kaz Kazuichi has gotten himself a, a win in the, in, the, in, the near, in the near past, the near past, the near past, we'll say that. But today, it's her day. The pickle-haired princess, in fact, let me, let me just say that your winner. Surviving the Vision Hunt Decree with the power of Geo. 
The samurai could not cut her down. Instead, she cut herself a path to the singles finale. Your winner is Monica. Congratulations to her. You know what? Miss Monica, you did yourself a good time. You one of the best masterminds of all time. Congratulations to you. Not maybe not how you ended, but you know, other than that, one of the best masterminds of them all. And today you get to join yourself onto that singles. In fact, go and bring it up right now. Let's not waste any time. Bring up the singles finale bracket. No secret achievement hit, but we only have a couple of secret achievements left, don't we? We only have what? One, two, three, four, five, six? Six? Six. One of them had a very good chance of hitting today, and it almost did, but let me tell you, it didn't quite. Who boy. But that's Maya. I'm sorry, that's Monica, rather, joining Maya. So, uh, Yui, Himiko, Monokuma, uh, Katoko, Sakura, Ruruka, Celeste, uh, who won last week? Uh, Maya and Seiko, Kaito, and I'm forgetting someone, based on my finger counting. Kokichi. Kokichi's in there, because he's like right next to Kaito, and I was like, ah, oh, look at those two. <laughs> Always going at each other. I remember that. That's on the bracket. It's, it's somewhere at the bottom right there, but let me tell you, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. That's the singles bracket, but you know what's more, maybe not even more important, but uh, really exciting this season, the fact that we have a special retribution match. It is... The Retribution Rumble. And today, second and third both go on to that Retribution Rumble. And it's easy peasy to see that Maki and Komaru, that is correct, they join Angie, Nagisa, Akane, Peko, Hina, Hiro, freaking Saika, Mondo, Shuichi, Jotaro, Mew and Kazuichi. Mew and Kazuichi and Mondo. That's what I was thinking about. Someone reminded me that even though last week Band-Aid had themselves a week, all of the original Pimped Out rides, Mondo, Kazuichi, and Mew made the bracket in the same episode. The Retribution bracket. And they, I think they got a secret plan. I think they're hatching something together. I think they, one of them was gonna move on. They're, they're planning. They're plotting. I see that in there. I see that. That was very exciting. But that is the Retribution Rumble. We can't talk about that for too long. It's all about Monica. She won this one with a big old rock to the top of Maki and Komaru. She won this one with only two KOs to do it. The only two KOs that mattered and the two KOs that were given to her with the power of Geo. Congratulations to her. Komaru had the most KOs though. She was popping off. So was Maki. Seiko I thought was popping off too, wasn't she? Wasn't she? Yeah, she's got three KOs and then she perished. But you know what? It is what it is. Seiko was putting on a clinic, but Komar was putting on a bloodbath. Congratulations to her, and congratulations to everyone who who made something today, and not everyone who survived the Vision Hunt decree and didn't get taken out by the samurai. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I didn't plot for the to, for the samurai to come out on top of this one. No, not me. That wasn't me. They just got taken out <laughs> in unfortunate ways very quickly, ladies and gentlemen. That is the danger. That is the danger of the Vision Hunt decree. Hope you've now know that as you've experienced it, things get crazy when that happens. You have not experienced what happens with the tank. Or the chainsaw. There's a lot of things that we still have not experienced in this in this matchup. We might we might see it very very soon. Uh, that one versus one hundred match that's in the end of the uh end of the end of the season and in this simulator might be uh might be a really crazy one now that we have so many people in that match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me taking off. United States Avery taking off. Toon Link, Dave, Anomaly, the Anomal Akaris. Until Sunday for OC action, or if you would like Saturday in Neo the World Ends With You, which is uh, left us off as a click a real cliffhanger last week, but this week we're ending that one. We'll see what happens. Not the series, because we're getting close to it though. We're getting close. We're getting close. Only a couple more days. Toodaloo, like Thanks for watching.